What a great way to end off this horrible day. You're so comfy. Still, I can't believe they had the nerve to say that about you. No, it's not fine. I'm happy they got kicked out of the party by your friend. But they said something bad about you. I couldn't just let that slide. I mean, what they said about you wasn't even true. Not charming at all? I mean, come on. Even a blind person can sense with their nose how charming you are. Then they said you weren't even cuddleable? Like, I'm getting it first hand right now. And I can tell you how wrong they are. Mm. Still, what a unique insult to say to someone. Babe, if you were like me, you wouldn't be saying that. What they said about you, you shouldn't even be standing for. Luckily for you, I'm here to tell you exactly how it is. You should have seen their faces when I yelled at them. Sometimes being so well known is a chore. You know I have a big group of people I like talking to. And I like talking. But I swear, the number of people who know me slowly creep up as time goes on. But back to the point, they were so shocked to see that I was your girlfriend. I mean, it looked like they thought you were lying when you were calling for me or something. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> I'm glad you stopped me before things got ugly. I don't know what people were more surprised about. You being able to calm me down or the fact that we're dating. I didn't know it was that unknown that us two are together. I mean, we hang out all the time. Just because you're camera shy so I don't have pictures of us on Instagram shouldn't mean anything. If they actually were my friends and at least expected me as much, they'd know that. No, wait. Maybe that's why I get asked out so much. People don't know I'm dating you? Mm. Okay, baby. That's not gonna do. We gotta take a selfie, right now. Nah, uh don't try to escape. If you don't take this picture for us, no more kisses for a few days. I know that would be torture for both of us, wouldn't it be? So for us both, <laughs> sit still and let me take this picture of us, please. <laughs> That's the spirit, okay. Let me scoot you up a bit. <laughs> now, let me snuggle into you. <laughs> I can hear your heartbeat. <laughs> I love hearing it beat faster the closer I get to you. Now, let me just take this picture real quick. <laughs> Perfect. Now. I'm just gonna go ahead and post this and done. Now let's hope people realize that you are mine and I am yours. Now then, how about a reward for letting me do this? Mm. 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 I bet that was worth it, huh? Good. Well, I just wanted to let you know before we fall asleep watching TV that I appreciate you more than you could ever know. Despite what others say, you're amazing. There isn't anything I would change about you. Well, <laughs> other than you being camera shy. But other than that, you're the perfect partner for me. I'm never letting you go. You're too much of a gift to let go. Oh, no need for 
for those. Wait. What was that noise you just made? Don't know what noise mean. You know exactly what noise I'm talking about. <laughs> no, uh, uh, sit. Mm, mm, mm. What noise did you make, puppy? Mm? Don't make me ask you again. <laughs> Can't hear me over the TV, huh? Okay, then. Now, last chance. What was that noise you made? <laughs> what noise? <laughs> oh, puppy. You have no idea what you're dealing with. My patience is running very thin. If you won't tell me, then maybe I'll... Get close to your neck and breathe warm breaths onto you. Softly stroke my hands around your wrists. Gently move my thighs around your legs. I then might just softly lick your neck and slowly kiss lower and lower. <laughs> Stripping your mind and soul with just my touch. Making you yearn for more. <laughs> then, maybe I'll get down to your pants and then... <laughs> there it is, puppy. I didn't know you could whimper like that. How could you hide this from me? Just when I thought you couldn't be any more precious. Once again, you proved me wrong. I usually hate it when people do that. But when you do it, it is always such a nice surprise. Always makes me wonder what else you're hiding from me. Mm. <laughs> Aw, don't struggle, puppy. It's okay. I'm here to take care of you. There's no need for such defiance and disobedience, now is there? Oh, puppy. I'm warning you. Stop struggling. Good boy. See, you can listen. Now, before you have another little episode... How about I give your tongue a little workout, hmm? Just so you can only make those cute little whimpers that I want to hear more of. Come here. Keep that energy, puppy. You'll need it. Now come here. Let's turn you into a panting puppy. There we go, baby. How's being in subspace? I bet it's amazing feeling my hands holding down yours with little to no effort. I don't even think you're trying anymore, are you? Not that you want to, isn't that right? <laughs> Not for me. Good boy. Now, while I have you here like this, I'm going to give you some new rules. Okay, puppy? Now, good pets do tricks for treats. They only do tricks if a reward is involved. But good boys... <laughs> Well, good boys do tricks when they're told. Reward involved, 
or not. Now, I don't know about you, puppy, but to me, you're the goodest boy I know of. Isn't that right? Nod. See? Good boy. Now time for your new rules that you must always follow. No matter if I give you a treat or not. First rule. You will always make sure it's known that you are a taken puppy. I don't want to have to collar my good boy just to make sure people will know he's someone else's. <laughs> Even though one day I might. Rule two. Now that I realize how much you love seeing me above you like this. Whenever I feel like, oh, I don't know. Sitting on your lap or climbing on top of you. I will pat an area beside me twice. If we're in public. I want you to sit on that exact spot so I may sit on your lap. If we're by ourselves... <laughs> if we're by ourselves and I pat an area twice, I want you to lay down on your back and hold your hands above your head so I may climb on you as well as pin you down. Do I make myself clear, puppy? Nod. <laughs> Good boy. Now, for the third and most important rule. Whenever we're kissing, even while I'm kissing your neck, and even in public, mind you, puppy, I want you to whimper. I don't mind how loud you do it, as long as you whimper for me, puppy. Understand? Repeat the rules back to me. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Good boy. Let's see if you'll actually listen to those rules and obey them, shall we? Mm -hmm. Come here, puppy. it's because you're panting or if it's because you're in subspace or if it's your whimpers but god that kiss was better than any other prior <laughs> oh puppy you're drooling more and more as we kiss. Am I a good treat? I hope so. Because you also taste amazing. Now, as your reward for being so good, your mistress is going to take her top off. Yours as well. And kiss you more. Then maybe. Just maybe. I'll let you have some fun, okay? Nod. Good boy. Now come here. I want to see if having one less piece of clothing on affects how much you whimper. Don't worry though, puppy. I'll take care of you. Tonight? As well as many more. <laughs> Special thanks to Will R. Langley little lupo thank you guys so much for your support and if anyone else wants to i'd really appreciate it doesn't need to be through patreon if you'd like to come to my socials or 
even at just a small percentage if you watch me on Twitch. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to get those viewerships up and to meet more people in the community. But, um, yeah. I do hope you enjoy your time here, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye, puppies.